Should you use AI when learning to code? This is a question I'm getting more and more for beginners. And for the most part, I say no. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why. Now, one of the biggest reasons to avoid AI is that there's a temptation to outsource your brain. And I've seen this with beginners coming into my courseware. They start using AI to solve their problems instead of developing problem-solving skills. And as I've mentioned in other videos, syntax is something that you'll develop over time. It's challenging at first, but over time and practice, syntax becomes natural. The hardest part of programming and the most important skill is problem solving. And if you start off by every time you get stuck asking the AI for the solution, you don't develop those problem solving skills. And as the applications you work on get more and more complex, you are going to be more and more limited. And besides limiting your problem solving skills, it also disrupts your learning process. Because oftentimes as a beginner, you don't know what's possible in the language or what frameworks are available. And when you ask ChatGPT or one of these AI tools to solve a problem for you, sometimes it will include code and concepts and frameworks that you just aren't ready for yet. And then you have a couple choices. You put the code in there and you don't understand it, so it's magical. And something I was always big on in my courses when I do code reviews, if you have code that works, but you can't explain why, you have failed. Because the whys and the hows and the problem solving is more important in the learning process than working code. And then the other thing is, if it shows you some magic, now there's a really interesting rabbit hole that you wanna go dive down, and you may not be ready for that yet. One thing I've learned through a decade of instruction is that there is a specific order which is best for learning to code. And if you don't know that and you don't have the right prompts, ChatGPT and other tools will introduce things in an order that isn't conducive to learning. And that's not even mentioning hallucinations. Now I play with these tools a lot. I use them a little bit, but I don't find their code to be production ready. And one of the reasons is these hallucinations. Sometimes they'll put functions or method calls in there that don't exist in the language. And if you're a beginner and you copy paste that code into your IDE, you're gonna get errors and you're not really gonna understand why they're not working. And then again, you're going down this rabbit hole and investigating something and spinning your wheels. But the more insidious thing is that I frequently get code that has very subtle bugs in it. Things like data corruption or not doing a step in the right order or forgetting a step in a list of things that needs to be done. And if you don't have the experience and the confidence to fact check that code, you're going to introduce those bugs into your programs. And the worst case would be putting that in a portfolio project, something you're gonna to show to an employer, and they catch the bug and ask you about it, and it becomes clear that you didn't actually write that code yourself, and you have no idea how to troubleshoot it. And that's just not a good look. And since we're on the topic of bad looks, let's talk about interviewing. When you go into an interview, I can guarantee you that they are not going to let you bring ChatGPT into that interview with you. So if you're using it and relying on it like a crutch to write your code, there is no way that you are passing a technical interview. So now that I've kind of dumped on AI tools during the learning process, I do want to take a step back. You do need to learn these things, and it is part of a productive developer's workflow, and it will become more so in the future. They're getting better, the tools are here to stay. However, because of those negative impacts during the learning process, I highly encourage beginners to build that strong foundation first. Spend five, six, seven hundred hours learning to code, doing it by hand, and then slowly bring in AI to start doing the mundane and repetitive tasks of programming that you deeply understand. And as you build more confidence and competence, you can use AI more and more, and you'll have a better feel for where it makes sense. Happy coding.